roofs in Revit. So if you're in the AEC industry, or rather if you're in the construction industry, roof is something you come across on a regular basis. Either you're designing the roof, or you're constructing it, or you're even inspecting it. So in today's video, I want to show you a lot about roofs in Autodex Revit. So I'm going to be covering how to create different types of roof, the different tools to use to create roofs in Revit, and I'm going to show you how to add extra features of the roof like the fascias and the rich caps. So if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also hit the notification bell to get notified because we do this on a weekly basis. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the main subject at hand. All right. All right, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using three buildings. So you can see these are three identical buildings and I'm going to be showing you how to use the different roof tools to create your desired roof type in Autodex Revit. So firstly, we are going to start creating the roof by footprint. So to access all the roofing tools in Autodex Revit, you need to go under architecture. Under this architecture, you are now going to go under this roof. Under this roof icon, you can click on this drop down icon and you are going to see many tools. So you are going to see the first three tools. These are three tools to create roof. Then you are going to see a second three tools. These are tools to create extra features like the roof gutter, the roof soffit, and the roof fascia. Alright, so we're going to start from roof footprint and we're going to be creating our roof footprint. So now I've clicked on roof. Currently, we're in the 3D view, so it's going to give us option to select the levels we want to place the roof. So this is also very important. Levels, um, if you have seen in my focus video, I've explained what levels are. So levels are basically vertical reference points. For instance, if I click on this drop down icon, I've already set all the levels and I have a roof level, so I'm going to click on yes. Okay, so if you haven't seen how to create levels in Autodex Revit, you check click on this bloop where I have a full course where I explain everything in details about levels and other things in Revit so now i'm just going to rotate this and i'm going to draw a roof so now and i've clicked on the roof level I'm, I'm going to be able to draw both in this 3d and in a plan view because me i usually prefer drawing from 3d but if you go to a plan view you can still draw your roof profile from there since we're on the roof level none of the walls came above the roof level so we cannot see any wall here so we're just going to go back to 3d and we're going to be drawing from here so as you can see we have some tools to sketch our roof profile we have we can pick from any of these tools so i could just select this box tool here so this box tool makes things quicker since this is a rectangle or i could just use the line tool since i have this extra budge out here so now i'm just going to um, start drawing the roof profile so i could click on offset here so it will make the sketching easier and faster so i could just click on this 600 so what this does is that once i click on this point it's going to automatically offset 600 which is the standard extension of roof eaves so we're just going to be drawing a roof profile to cover this okay so once we've done this you are going to see that on this roof profile lines you are going to be seeing a triangle close to it so what this triangle indicates is that there is a slope because roofs have slope so it means that all the roof lines we've drawn in this roof profile have slope so if you click on finish you are going to see it's going to form a roof so now we have created this kind of roof of course if you rotate it i don't like this roof i don't want a thick roofing sheet i want something that is much more subtle so to do that we're going to go to this properties panel over here and we're going to click on edit type and we're just going to duplicate it and we're going to create our roof type so i'm just going to name this 01 roofing sheet all right so now we've done this we're just going to click on ok then i'm going to click on edit type so now i'm going to change the thickness of this roofing sheet from 225 to 10 millimeters then i'm going to assign a new material by clicking on this icon here so once i click on this icon the material editor interface is going to pop up then i could just right click on any material i could duplicate it and i could just name it 01 roof sheet so once i've renamed it i will just click on this icon to assign a new material to it then i'm going to go to appearance and i'm going to go to roofing then i'm just going to click on this two-way icon to assign this new material click on apply and i'm going to click ok and i'm going to click ok apply ok so now we have created a roofing sheet if you want to get a proper view of this roofing sheet we could click on this icon here and we could change this to shaded 
then i'm just going to click on this icon here and i'm going to change this to fine so it's going to show the details well so as you can see you can see the basic heat proof we've created all right so now we've created this roof i'm going to show you how to edit some parameters of this particular roof so now we have a simple heat proof so once we click on this heat proof we can change decide to change the slope of this heat proof to change the slope we, once we click on it we are going to go under this properties panel we are going to see dimensions and we could just change this slope to 40 or whatever angle we want to change it to so we could also click on this roof and activate and deactivate some slopes of some profile of some part so let's rotate this to the top view if i click on edit footprint now i could just select this particular profile line here and i could just click on this slope icon here this define slope and uncheck it so once i uncheck it it's going to remove the slope here so thus turning this into a gable roof at this point so you can use this and manipulate a lot of things to create your desired roof type so for instance i want to create a dodge now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this roof i'm going to click on edit profile then i'm just going to draw simply draw a profile line at 45 degrees here also draw another profile line at 45 degrees then i'm just going to trim both of them then i'm going to draw another profile line coming down at 1.2 then i'm going to join it with this one and join it with this one then i'm just going to click on escape delete this line at the center point then i'm going to click on this and trim this once i'm done trimming this i'm going to click on this roof line i'm going to delete it i'm going to select these three profile lines and i'm going to uncheck these loops then i'm going to click finish so once i've done this i've created the first part of my dutch roof so of course it's not yet looking like a dutch what we are simply going to do is we are going to rotate this to the top view we're going to click on this roof then we're just going to click on this copy tool and duplicate it here so once we've duplicated it i'm going to click on this and edit type then i'm just going to delete all these profile lines first so now i'm just going to go and click on this pick line too so i'm going to pick here pick here pick here pick here then i'm done going to draw a line and i'm going to draw and close this loop then i'm going to highlight everything all these profile lines excluding this particular one because i want the slope to be here and i'm going to uncheck this define slope i'm also going to click on this one and i'm going to see that the angle is editable even from this profile line here so i'm going to change it to 40 degrees to match that of the other roof so i'm just going to click on finish okay so now i've done this and we can now see that we have created our dutch roof so you can maybe later you will just go and model an extrusion or model your dutch and place it so now the next thing i'm going to be talking about is how to create rich caps so if i click on this roof i'm just going to click on copy and i'm going to copy another one out so i'm going to be using this new roof to create the rich caps for this roof so what i'm going to do now is firstly i'm going to go to this properties panel i'm going to click on edit type i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to call this 02 rich cap so now i'm going to click on ok and i'm going to be editing some parameters of this rich cap so i'm going to be editing the structure usually i make the rich cap a bit thicker than the roof so i'm going to make this 30 i'm also going to change the material and i'm going to right click and click on duplicate even though they may have the same appearance but i'll make sure i separate the material so i can apply different graphics on it so i'm going to name this 02 rich cap all right so i'm just going to click on ok and i'm going to click on ok so now we've done this we are now going to edit it with footprint so i'm going to click on edit footprint so firstly i'm going to delete all of this so now i'm just going to click on this pick line tool and i'm going to be picking all the ridges of this roof so once i've picked all the ridges i'm going to highlight everything and i'm just going to uncheck these defined slopes so i'm going to be using the offset clicking on this offset tool and i'm going to be offset 100 millimeter from each side because the ridge cap is 100 millimeter so i'm just going to be offsetting it offsetting one here offsetting this offsetting this and offsetting this as well so once i've done this i'm going to be selecting this line in between these all the lines in between the middle and i'm going to be deleting them so now i've done this i'm just going to click on this pick line too i'm going to pick this exteriors this very far house here then i'm going to use the split element tool to split the lines then i'm just going to trim the, it together all right so now we're done with this and where i think i've trimmed everything i'm just going to make sure that the angle of this ridge cap is matching the angle of the roof so i'm going to change this to 40 degrees and i'm going to click finish 
so as you can see if you rotate it you are going to see the rich cap and it's looking all nice and good okay so now we're done with the rich cap we're going to go into the next type of roof so the next type of roof i'm going to be showing you is how to use roof roof by extrusion so roof by extrusion is pretty simple and self-explanatory so if you click on this roof icon and you click on roof by extrusion it's going to ask you to pick a work plane so this work plane is a plane you are going to draw the profile of which the roof will extend and extrude okay so we are just going to click on pick a plane and click ok so it's going to this gizmo here is going to pop out so you will be able to pick a plane so let's say we pick this wall now so once we've picked this wall and it's going to ask us to select the reference level and we're going to leave the level at roof level and i'm going to click ok so i'm just going to rotate this here okay so currently this is not the building this building directly in front of us is not the one we want to draw the roof profile but since they are duplicate we could still see the use the building as a reference so i'm just going to draw a line of setting at 900 here then i'm going to draw another line down here to this point then draw another one to this point so it's going to match the extension of this one so i'm now going to draw a line diagonal here then i could just click on offset and i could offset 600 just to give it an eve at this point so i'm just going to offset 600 so now i've done this i'm going to delete these other lines i'm going to delete these other lines here then i could select a new type of roofing sheet because you know we created a roofing sheet called roofing sheet so now we could just click on this roofing sheet i could uh, click on edit type i could click on duplicate because i want this roofing sheet to be different from the hip roof one i want it to have some thickness below i will just click on ok then i'm going to click on edit type then i'm just going to click on insert to add some layer then i'm going to click on up to drag the layer just beneath this one then i'm going to give the layer a thickness of um, let me use 150 then i'm just going to apply a roofing material let me just use look for a simple white material so let me just use this one for now then i'm just going to change the material go to under appearance then i'm going to change it to white then i'm going to click apply okay okay and click apply okay so now we've done this our profile line is here we're just going to click on finish so now we're going to rotate this so as you can see the roof extended too much and is not what we want because this roof by extrusion extended too much so you are now going to see the extrusion go to this properties panel you are going to see extrusion start and extrusion end so what we are going to do is we are going to change this extrusion end to minus 16 meters first okay so as you can see minus 16 meter is still way beyond so what we are going to do is we are going to go back to the plan go back to dpc then we are just going to go to annotate and we are going to measure the size of this block so i've gotten the size 13.2 so i'm going to click escape i'm going to go back to 3d click on this and click on minus 13,200. so another thing before we finish clicking this we're going to add in the 600 millimeter eve value so we're going to change this instead of minus um, 13,200 we're going to add 600 which is minus 13,800 so now we're now going to change the extrusion starts to 600 so this is how to create your roof by extrusion this is how to use it all right now we have created the roof by extrusion but as you can see from what we've created we're actually seeing some redundant roof in here so we want to properly cut the profile well so it will fit in very well so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this to the top view then we're going to go over to this visual options and we're going to click on it and change it to wireframe so you'll be able to see through the roof now we are, once we've clicked on this roof we're now going to click on this um, vertical so once we click on the edit vertical we're now going to be given option to draw some perforations on the roof what we are simply going to do is we're just going to use the walls as reference point to select some lines so we're just going to click on this select line tool we're going to select here as well select here select here then we're just going to use the split element tool to split in between and we're just going to trim this so once we have done this we're just going to click on offset well now we're going to offset 600 millimeters so it's just going to match the eaves so we're going to be doing that from here 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 and here so now we're just going to delete these inside lines because we don't need them to be honest then once we've done that we can now we're now going to split this line here go to modify again click on split split this line here then we're going to use this select line to select these edges then we're just going to simply trim everything to form a box to cut where we want to cut so we're going to do the same here then we're just going to click on finish 
so if you change, go back to these visual options and you change this back to shaded you are going to see that this profile actually cuts the roof by extrusion very well and it matches that of our building so this is just the last thing to note about roof by extrusion how to use it to achieve your flat roofs your barrel roof your mono pitch and so much more so next we are going to be exploring the final roofing tool that is roof by face so we are going to be massing a face and we are going to be applying the roof on that face so to do that we are going to go to massing and site under massing and site we are now going to go to in place mass so once we've clicked on in place mass this mass one will come out so we are just going to quickly mass something random so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this model and i'm going to click on set work plane then i'm just going to pick one of this wall behind so let me click on escape then i'm going to rotate this first and i'm going to click on model line i'm going to click on set set work plane then i'm going to pick this work plane so now i've picked this work plane i could rotate this then i could just draw a roof profile a profile first so let me just draw use this line tool and just draw something then now i'm going to click on model line again i'm going to click on set i'm going to now set a new work plane so i'm going to set another work plane here so i'm going to click on set set work plane and i'm just going to set this wall so now i'm going to rotate this here and i'm now going to draw another profile so i'm going to draw this i'm going to draw this here and i'm now going to draw this so now i'm going to hit control and click on this i'm also going to hit control and click on this then i'm just going to click on this drop down icon here and create solid form so now we've created this solid form i'm just going to click on finish so i'm just going to go to architecture i'm going to go under this roof i'm going to click roof by face then i'm now going to it's going to give me option to pick any of this face to apply roof then once i've selected the three of them i'm now going to click on create roof so it's showing can't make roof maybe due to the virtue of the shape so i'm going to click on cancel maybe select this one and create roof select this one create roof let me see if i could select this one and create roof okay so because of technical issues this one can't create so we could go to this massing and site and we could just turn on this show massing so it's not going to show the massing so this is just basically how to use the three roofing tools in autodex revit to create what we want so another thing i'm going to show you is this roof now you can see that there is a gap between the walls and the roof which is looking off so what you are simply going to do is you are going to click on the walls let me hold control to click on all the walls so once you've used control to click on all the walls you are just going to click on attach to top base and you are just going to click on the roof you want to attach so sometimes it's going to show errors like can't keep wall and target joined you can click on unjoin element we are going to click on this one and click on attach top base and we're going to attach it on join the elements so so we're going to do the same for this we're going to hold control hold control and we're going to attach to top base all right so i think we are done with the basic tools for creating roofs in revit so now we are now going to be going to extra features okay so mainly i'm going to be focusing on the fascias so the gutter is something i'm just going to briefly glance through but so you're just going to see how to use it all right so if you go to under architecture we are going to click on roof so now we are going to see some things like roof soffit, roof fascia and roof gutter. So I'm just going to quickly start with roof soffit. Then you are just going to click and set the level on that as roof level. Then once you've set the level, you are now going to draw the profile for your roof soffit. So let's say you draw offset 600 round so it's simple like that you have created your roof soffit so you can adjust the level of this you could adjust it to minus 150 to fit in your roof or whatever you want to do so that is basically what roof soffit is like the soffit of roof so now we are going to go back to roof again and we're going to check out roof gutters how to use roof gutters so revit gives us some basic roof gutters we could use you could click on edit type you could apply materials to it you are going to see this basic gutter 125 by 125 which what you simply need to do is you are guys going to click pick the edges of this roof and it's going to create the roof gutter for you all right so that is just basically how to create roof gutters in autodex Revit. so now the juicy part of the video is how to create your roof fascia so now we are going to be creating some roof fascia and we're going to be creating our own custom roof fascia so firstly i'm just going to click on hh to hide this gutter so i'll have clear glance of the roof fascia i want to do so roof fascia is very simple what you are simply going to do is you're going to go to file under file you are going to click on new under new you are going to click on new family so instead of english imperial i'm 
don't work with the imperial system for now so i'm going to go back and i'm going to go to english metric then under this english metric i'm just going to go down and i'm going to go to just metric profile so once i click on metric profile i'm going to click on open so this gives me options to create any profile i want and i'm going to be using it for my project okay so i'm going to go to create i'm going to go to line so this point is the picking point like this point is very important so you're just going to draw from this point anything you're going to be doing in creating this profile so i'm just going to draw a line from here and i'm going to be drawing the line up to 600 that is the depth of the eve then i'm not going to be drawing an interesting profile for the roof fascia So now this is our roof, this is our profile. So what we are simply going to do is we are going to go over to this category and family parameters and we are going to change profile usage and we are going to click on it and we are going to change this to facial. Then we are going to click OK. So we are just going to click on load into project. We are going to click on save family and I'm just going to name it facial. Then I'm just going to click on save and I'm just going to, it's going to load into the main project. So now we've loaded this into the main project. We're going to go back to this 3D and we're going to be placing this roof fascia. So the same way we're going to go on that roof, click on this drop down icon. We're going to click on roof fascia. I'm going to click on edit type and I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to name this roof fascia main. So once you have done this, so I'm just going to click OK. So once I've clicked OK, I'm going to assign a new material. I'm just going to look for this material i think is nine then once i apply this material i'm going to change this and i'm going to look for the roof facial main profile we loaded in so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to click ok so now i'm just going to be picking the edge of this roof to draw the profile to create the roof facial profile so i'm going to click this i'm going to pick this edge so you can see how good this is looking Alright, so these are the basic roofing tools you need to understand in Revit. With the knowledge of these tools, you can work with them dynamically and you can achieve almost any type of roof you want to achieve in Autodesk Revit. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to support us, also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this. With that out of the way, I'm going to wish you good luck till we meet again in the next video. Thank you very much.